the final match in the opening weekend of the Betfred Cup fixtures. And it brings us back to the simple digital arena in Paisley, the scene of the eventual shootout drama that saw the Buddies retain their Premiership status. It's all about the Cup this afternoon, though, as the two, these two sides look for a confidence-boosting start to the 2019-20 season. Well, it's Premiership versus Championship in Group H in the Betfred Cup. Good start for Albion Rovers yesterday against East Coast Bride, but these two will be the favourites to fight it out for progression into the second round, remember? Right. Stevie Crawford gets his first shot at a full season in charge of the club where he excelled as a player, and Ryan Dow has an opportunity here to have a run at the defence, and he gets the shot away, and Kladke, who had such a fine season, well, six months last season with Samirin and making an important start to the new campaign. He just didn't look comfortable, Jack Baird, in a 1v1. Ryan Dow, good pace going beyond. Whether he's playing central or wide, he wants to go beyond people. Jack Baird trying to move his feet, but yet again, Ladke, an important save. That was Swung into the middle by Flynn and not taken cleanly by Ryan Scully, but Dunfermline through Peyton able to clear their lines. It was certainly untidy. You know, there wasn't an awful lot of pressure on him. I think it's an easy take. He then has to throw himself in to try and block the second one. Ends up getting an injury out of it, but you'd imagine St. Merrim will have taken that on board. Next opportunity, put it on top of him again. Here's Andre. Erehan, and it's hit by Cody Cook. Well off target in the end, but he'd love to find that form that he found at Dens at the end of last season. There's some good movement there from St Mirren. You see Andrew running in behind, and the ball back for Erehan. Well, Coley manages to get his pass on to Dow. Another big chance for him! And Ryan Dow, on debut, tucks it away and gives Championship Dunfermline the lead over St Mirren. It was really well taken. A debut goal for Dow. Well, they had their warning sign in the opening part of the game. The running ability of Ryan Dow. He's just not tracked. Erehan doesn't see him at all. He gets drawn in narrow, and suddenly it's all about Ryan Dow. Does he have the composure? Has he learned from his mistake? Ladke this time can't keep it out. But it's great play by Dunfermline. So Murren Dow went up 1 0. Very neatly done by Kevin Nisbet and his new strike partner, Andy Ryan, has an opportunity here. Fine finish. It gets better for Dunfermline. They double their lead through Andy Ryan. It's a new strike pairing that links up to fine effect. And Dunfermline have a two-goal lead. And you have to give all the plaudits as well to Kevin Nisbet. Watch the middle of the pitch. Really clever play. I think it's Steve McGinn. Comes and has a nibble. Absolutely not. Then he shows him a hot, he, uh, a hot set of heels. Great first touch by Andy Ryan. Sets himself up. Listen, he's all left-footed. He wants to get back inside. You've got to get him out the pitch. As soon as you allow him inside, you're in trouble. So Murren, he questioned the counter-attack earlier on. They've been punished yet again. It's that inside left channel again. Mackenzie and Erehan, they can't defend. Look at this here. Far too easy. Don't take anything away from Andy Ryan's finish, though, because that is a great finish. You can tell he's always wanting to get it back on his left foot here and guide into that far corner. Kladke's had no chance. But and Coley's looking as if he's somebody that could uh, prove a, a good acquisition for the, the championship. Beadling threads it through to Ryan. Is this number three? So nearly it might still be and is Tom Beadling. And it just keeps getting better and better. They are loving it. In the 2019-20 season, Dunfermline. 3-0 up against a Premiership side on day one. Doesn't get much better than that. Well, if Jim Goodwin thought he had a big job in his hands, this first half has shown he has. It's, they're just too powerful. They're more streetwise. Tom Beadling, great run from midfield. He continues his run forward. Andy Ryan, who's been a threat all afternoon. That comes from a throw-in. That's how simple it is. They're far too passive, St Mern. At times, it's as if 
Everton firm they're playing against mannequins. They're just knocking the ball around about. Again, shortness to the second ball. And then firm we have to say, have been the far better side, the more dominant side, and the scoreline reflects it. Erehon. And hit by Paul McGinn. Just slice it off the right-hand side of his boot. It was always moving away from the goalkeeper, but also the post. Well, he had a shot similar in the first half that was nowhere near the goal, but I think it's ambitious to start with, but always drifting wide. But a little bit of positivity to strike towards the target, not on target. Some Hearn fans off their seat, but... Erehon. Ryan battling away with McGuinness. Comes to Andre. Nicely done. On to Erehon. And on the edge of the box, it's nicely turned into the corner by Cody Cook. That's a bit more like it for Jim Goodwin's side. They make their mark. And they have a lifeline. Ethan Erehon getting himself forward. He has good composure. I think Cody Cook gives him a little shout in the edge of the box. Just lifts his head. But there's got to be pressure on the ball. I think Tom Beedling just steps off. He doesn't go and uh, close the space down. And Cody Cook has time to lift his head. Just open his body up. And Scully can't get anywhere near it. And some amount of a lifeline. Just that deflection at the bottom corner. It takes it away from, from Scully. But it'll give St Mirren something to to build upon it's not going to eradicate that disappointment of the first half but it's a bit of a positive for Jim Goodwin and his men to try and to build upon well and for Dunfermline who have made it all their own way for the first hour they will now have a few questions in their own minds it's been all St Mirren in the second half to be fair and getting their reward for their possession Can it be two in quick succession? The goalkeeper came nowhere near it, and they have. They have got a second. And Danny Mullen joins Cody Cook on the score sheet. And from being 3-0 down in the space of, well, just over a minute or so, St Mirren are right back in this. Now we have a game. We watched Ryan Scully in the early part of the game. He came for a cross and dropped it. This one, he gets absolutely nowhere near. If you're not going to make contact with the ball, stay in your line, allow your defenders to go and clear it. He makes a complete hash of it in a game where they were really comfortable to firm them. Andre. Coley loses out, it's Tony Andre. Well, he caught it well, just rising over the top. Well, it's not great defending from Coley, is it? Ball comes back out to him here, trying to sneak away down the line. Tony on. Given away though by Stephen McGinn and Beedling. Finds McGill and Coley is all alone. This could finish it. Gladke comes up big when it matters. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a really good pick out from McGill. To see Coley at the back post, he gets a good first touch and a good strike, but. A little bit too close to Gladke. Flint. Now to Baird. There's only one way for it. Paul McGinn wins the header. It's not clear by Morrison. Now Jorkiev, and he's got a bit of space to work in here. Is he the one to create some magic? It's a fine ball in. Well defended though by Dunfermline. Mullen felt he should have had a free kick there from Lewis McCann. Nothing coming. So too Gabby McGill. Left disappointed by the official's decision. Time running out. Up goes McKenzie. Mullen has it. And Ferlman managed to hack it clear. McGuinness is still alive for Samirin. McGuinness, they will have... A corner kick and Gladke is coming up for it. Jim Goodwin 
ushering everyone forward for this. Time's up. It's over the, a lot of time. Of course, it's five minutes minimum. I don't remember many stoppages in injury time. Well, I tell you, if you'd said to Jim Goodwin at half-time, 3-0 down, that you'd have a corner for the last chance, he would have taken that, there was no question. Andre, dramatic finish, and Paisley Kladke gets his head to it, and he can't turn it goalwards, and that will be that. Three was a step too far for St Mirren. It's delight for Stevie Crawford. And that's why Ladke's wearing the gloves. He gets himself a great opportunity, free in the six-yard box. Not convincing, although I'm not too sure goalkeepers work on heading. But he certainly doesn't. Well, a crucial three points for Dunfermline to kick off their campaign.